The Council of Exiles is an alliance faction introduced in Wallace of Draenor. Being exalted with the Exiles allows you to buy various items from the Quartermaster, Vindicator Noreem and Stormshield. This includes the Relic of Karibor, the Dusty Rockhide Mount, the Celtic Malou Follower, the Draenei Micro Defender Battle Pad, and the Tapper. It also gives you the achievement called Council of Exiles and the Prelate title. There are a few different ways to gain reputation with the faction. As you level from 90 to 100, a lot of quests in Shadowmoon Valley, Talador, and from your garrison gives you reputation. When I got to level 100, I was a good bit into reward, so if you've quested your way through the expansion, you should have at least some reputation with the council. If you think you missed any of the quests, look in the description for a link to Wowhead's site where you can find a list of the quests giving you reputation. Remember to also complete all bonus objectives in the three zones as they will give you reputation as well. Doing all of the reputation quests will however not get you into Exalted, and the last reputation can be a little annoying to grind. If you have a strong economy, you can go into the auction house and buy the Medallion of the Legion, which upon use will give you 1000 reputation with all Draenor factions. The medallion is, however, expensive on most servers, so if you're looking to put a bit of work into it, I suggest using one of my other suggestions. In Shadow Moon Valley, there are three areas containing level 100 mobs, which grants you reputation upon killing. The Socrates Rise, Pillars of Fate, and Dark Tide Roast. If you don't have the level 3 trading post, which gives you an increase in reputation gained by 20% on Draenor, the mobs will give you from 10 to 50 reputation each, depending on whether you kill elites, mobs, or minions. Personally, I found that the Pillars of Fate was the best spot, since the respawn time was fast, and since there are a bunch of elites which gives you around 50 reputation each. If you want to use this method, I suggest having a garrison bodyguard with you, as it speeds up the grind while also getting reputation with a bodyguard. Even though you can grind your way to Exalted, I found the grind to be very boring and time consuming. I therefore chose to do the last thing on my list. During the Draenor Dungeon event, which is a recurring world event, players will get the Sign of the Emissary buff, which gives you reputation for killing both trash mobs and bosses in Draenor Dungeons on either Normal, Heroic or Mythic difficulty. For the Council faction, three dungeons gives you reputation. The Grimrail Depot, the Iron Ducks, and Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. The other instances will give you reputation with other Draenor factions. Trash Mobs gives you 20 reputation each, while bosses give you 400. This is, in my opinion, the fastest way of getting reputation with the council and allows you to earn a bit of money and gear while grinding. If you can, I strongly suggest getting the level 3 trading post, as you will get an additional 20% reputation while doing the instances. I found this method to be the easiest since the mobs give more reputation and can be done quickly. Also, during the weekend a lot of other players are grinding reputation, so you can easily find groups that clears the whole instances instead of skipping trash when possible. During the bonus reputation event, you can equip a tabard from the alliance factions and get reputation from that faction as well as for the council, making it possible to grind reputation for two factions at the same time. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe if you like the video.